Afghan television gives viewers many choices nowadays. Soap operas, blockbuster movies, entertainment shows, even music videos. Not quite the Afghanistan of seven years ago. And it seems Afghans are hooked, fascinated mainly by the various drama series from India, the most popular one, Tulsi, a story that centers on the relationship between a daughter and her mother-in-law, a plot that many can relate to. When the series started on television, we stopped all of our work, even eating, and kept watching the series. We love it. But this show may be taken off air soon. The government has ordered a ban because of scenes such as men and women embracing and showing women unveiled. Clerics and conservative members of parliament oppose these soap operas, branding them as un-Islamic. We are 6,000 people in this mosque. Our intention in this mosque is to go and blow up all the television stations' antennas if they do not stop airing the soap operas. These programs have changed the behavior of our children and women. We don't want them. All Muslims know that they are not allowed in Islam. This is still a deeply traditional society. Hamid Karzai has had to play a balancing act, vowing to maintain media freedom while siding with the Clerics' Council. Those programs which contradict the daily life of Afghans and which our people do not accept must be stopped. I wish television stations would stop airing them. But they haven't. Tolo TV, which airs two of the banned dramas, has remained defiant and is ready to take the case to the courts. It is an unlawful declaration. We broadcast our programs based on media law. And we will never stop the airing of these Indian serials. It is a highly controversial subject in Afghanistan, one that has been making headlines. This one says Tolo TV's struggle with the Ministry of Culture and Information, the government department responsible for issuing that ban. It's basically a battle between modern and conservative forces. A lot has changed in Afghanistan since the Taliban were forced from power. At that time, even watching television was illegal. A whole new culture has since sprung up. Afghans are increasingly being bombarded by foreign influences at such a pace that some argue may prove too much to handle. Zanakhudr El Jazeera, Kabul.